Okay, this video is going to be an instruction on how a combination lock works. Of course, this is uh, just one design and it is 3D printed, so it has some challenges to it. But anyway, the way a, uh, a combination lock works is you have three tumblers. Tumbler 3, Tumbler 2, and Tumbler 1. Tumbler 3 will comply with the first number of your combination, this would be the second number of the combination, and the last number of your combination. The way it works is this latch will latch a shackle by holding it into place with this notch here. To release it, we have to line up all three notches with the latch so that it can drop back and release the shackle. Tumbler 1 and Tumbler 2 have tumbler pegs on them. These pegs will ride inside the groove of the tumbler below it. It won't turn the tumbler below it until that peg hits a stop and allows it to turn one way So it hits a stop and allows it to turn. It rides in this groove, comes around, hits a stop, and then turns the tumbler below it. This tumbler has the same thing. It also has a peg in it. And tumbler number three has the groove that that peg rides in, along with the stop for the peg to grab. I'm going to reassemble this. Now typically, your knob will go on top. For this demonstration, for you to see things, I'm not going to put the knob on there at this time. The knob determines the combination numbers that you use. But in effect, this does the same thing. Okay. Now, when you turn the knob, it turns this tumbler number one. As you can see, when I turn tumbler number one, tumbler number two is not spinning with it. I can sit here and spin it freely and tumbler number two stays in the same place until the peg hits the stop and then it starts turning tumbler number two. And the same way tumbler number two to tumbler number three. It can spin without affecting tumbler number three until it hits the peg hits the stop and now we are turning tumbler number three. So we're turning all three tumblers now at the same time. So as we spin this around Tumbler number three is going to, the notch is going to line up with the latch. And at that point we stop. That would be our first number. You can see the notch lined up here. Now tumbler number two we're going to start turning it the other way so we're not turning tumbler number three. So we have to turn tumbler one all the way around until it hits that stop again and now it starts spinning tumbler number two. Now we have tumbler number two lined up with the latch. Now we're going to turn tumbler one again it's only turning by itself it's not turning the tumbler below it because the peg isn't hitting the stop until all three and now we got our lock open. That's pretty much how a combination lock works. Thank you.